Uh, hello, uh, today I'll show you how to install Jellyfin on your QNAP NAS. We will not be fiddling around with any of the container station settings. We will in the backend use container station and we'll actually create a container. But all that heavy lifting will be done for us by a Q package script. So to start, I am logged into my QNAP already. Uh, we need to go to the app center and make sure that container station is installed and ready to use. Uh, because as I said, in the backend, container station will be used. Next, we need to go to the settings and make sure that we have allowed the installation of any application which doesn't have a valid signature. Now, what this essentially does is this uh, lets you install any package that is not from QNAP officially. So you should only do this to packages that you trust and you know doesn't have any malicious code. For my package, I have actually published on my um, GitHub repository the entire um, uh, source code itself so you can go to my github repository the um, uh, the uh, link is uh, in um, uh, this video's description as well you can uh, click on package routines and you can see the entire um, code source code of the script it's a very simple script basically uh, it uh, all it does is it uh, uh, mounts all the shares for you uh, in your uh, container um, it uses uh, the official jellyfin uh, image from docker hub and creates a container that's it but you can nonetheless uh, look at the code all right so back to QNAP now we have made sure that we have allowed the installation of uh, unsigned packages uh, container station is installed already uh, let's go back to uh, uh, github repository click on the qpackage file and download the file all right once the file is downloaded we go back to the QNAP we click on install click on install manually and we browse to the Q package file that we had downloaded earlier. We click on install. It again tells me that this package doesn't have a digital sign and ask for my confirmation that I know the risk involved with this. We say yes and we click on install and we wait for the installation to finish. Um, this is a very verbose script uh, as you can see in the source code as well. So if you go to your uh, Q log center, you will be able to see in the event log everything that the script does to your system right so let's go to the app center and wait for the script to uh, uh, finish all right now this has been installed it says the app has been installed and ready to use click on ok and you see jellyfin 10.8.10 uh, uh, version uh, this is the uh, image tag that we used to uh, pull the image from uh, docker hub uh, click on this uh, here also i've given the link to my blog and to uh, github repository you can use this to stop it or to remove the package uh, let me also show you what we have essentially done if you go to container station and look at the container you will see that there's a container that is created uh, called jellyfin that's all we have done we have used an image so if you click on the images you can see that uh, jellyfin 10.8.1 image this is the image that we pulled from docker hub and we used it to uh, create the jellyfin container all right so back to the app center we click on open it will take us to the jellyfin url now sometimes you will be taken to the select server screen on the first time installation which shouldn't happen uh, if this happens then you visit this url i've given a link to this url in the description of the video as well when you do that it takes you the first time setup where you'll be able to set up the username and password as well all right you can set up your username and password i could set up any user and it asks you to set up your media libraries uh, to add the media libraries we have made it easier for you um, wherever your content is on the qnap we have earlier mounted every shared folder that was there on your QNAP to Jellyfin container. So when you click on the folder, you will see that under M and T, you have got multiple directories, which are the directories which are all uh, shares available on your QNAP. So on my QNAP, I had a share called container, I had a share called restore SDD, I had a share called reading 25, movies 25. All these are available here. So you can very easily uh, define the source of your media, right? And this is all to it. Uh, so once you have uh, selected this, you can uh, select your add your library. 
I'll not show you the entire process but once you do that it will it's basically the wizard you will have to click on next uh, the language etc and allowing the remote and this is it it takes you back to the uh, uh, to the server and now you can sign in using the username and password that you created earlier and that's all there is your jellyfin is now installed in the QNAP if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment box and uh, I will answer as soon as I can thank you